Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see, we're doing a pamper routine tonight. So I hope this video inspires you and let's just get started. So I'm first gonna start with my oral care of course. Here I'm just brushing my teeth, tongue and my lips, getting rid of all that nasty dead skin off. It was my first time using whitening strips by the way. Detangling my hair so that I can go ahead and use my hair oil. So here I'm just oiling my hair with my coconut oil and I'm only gonna be applying this on my roots. So really focus it on areas you want to grow your hair. Or just apply it on your scalp and then start massaging your oil through your hair. Massaging it will promote blood flow to go to the roots and so promote hair growth. And for the bottom of my hair, I'm just gonna go in with my castor oil because it's very thick and it's very moisturizing for my ants. So once that is done, I'm gonna go put my hair back into a bun. Cleansing my charcoal whitening strips off. To be honest, I didn't see the result then and there, but maybe if I'm consistent, I will. So I'm just applying a good amount of gel onto my skin. So whenever you're derma planning, you always want to make sure to save your face in downward motion. You don't want to ever save in upward motion because you'll be going against the direction that your hair follicles grow in and that could eventually cause your skin to be irritated. It could cause ingrown hairs and you do not want those problems. So always want to make sure to save downwards. And when I do dermaplane my face, my skin just instantly appears brighter, my hyperpigmentation just seems less visible, and just overall, it just gives my skin a nice glow to it. Okay, so I'm gonna clean my face if there's any oil or makeup left with my favorite cleanser. And then apply my green tea face mask it's supposed to help with like oily skin and acne prone skin and that is my main concern I actually bought it from Amazon and it's quite nice Setting off with my mist for the last time. After all that stuff is done, let's just hop right into shower. I don't want to go into details about products today because it's not really too much about the products. It's morely about my routine. So, yeah. Also make sure to exfoliate your hands if you want to have super soft hands all throughout the day. Just 
just to touch on one thing i don't have a saving routine luckily i don't grow hair on my body much so i just save my underarms and my intimate area I always make sure I wash my face after I use conditioner or hair mask just to make sure that those hair products aren't setting on my skin and really making sure I wash my ear too. Always wash your downstairs area last in the shower because products can travel downstairs and when you get out, they can still be down there which can knock off your pH balance and make it worse. Now I'm gonna go in with my eye and lip patches and then I'm gonna go in with my sheet mask on top of it. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. The eye and lip patches were so nice and cooling. The sheet mask, you can literally feel it working. I just felt like this was the perfect combo to fair up together and I will definitely do this again. Get you the two-piece combo, okay? You're gonna get Vaseline Petroleum Jelly and take this Petroleum Jelly and I mean like a nice glove of it like you see me doing. Just rub it into your feet. Let, let this sit overnight and I promise you your feet are going to feel super soft and moisturized in the morning. Really get it on the hill because I know we struggle with hills, at least for me. And then I'm applying my vitamin E capsule on my lips and areas where I feel like it's drying. And last off, of course, my perfume. You gotta do that for sure. That is us done, you guys. Thank you so much for watching my video today. And I love you so much. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Love you. Mwah.